Hey everyone, it's Naomi. Today I have a book haul to share with you. I'm so excited. Books. First are two books that I bought from Amazon over the Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Cyber Monday type weekend. And uh, they were actually having a deal where you could use a code to get $10 off of $25 or more worth of books, which Amazon never does anything like that for books. Um, so I was really excited to take advantage of that. First I got Archivist Wasp by Nicole uh, Korshner Stace. Hope I'm saying that right. And this one I haven't heard anyone really talking about on booktube or anything. And I happened to find it, gosh how did I find this? I think on Goodreads maybe and then I looked it up on Amazon and checked it out and it really intrigued me. It's not a huge novel. It's about 260 something pages. It is a post-apocalyptic novel in which the main character is a ghost hunter. Her name is Wasp and so she is an archivist and it is her job to hunt ghosts. Um, I'm not really sure about anything besides that yet. kind of want to go into it like not knowing much more than that. That alone really intrigues me. On the back it says that she, you know, every year she has to fight to remain an archivist and um, she strikes a bargain with the ghost of a super soldier, whatever that is, and has to go with him uh, to his underworld to hunt for the long lost ghost of his partner. And in exchange, she will find out more about his pre apocalyptic pre world than any archivist before her. So it just, the whole concept sounds so intriguing to me, and I can't wait to get to this. Uh, next I got Illuminae, which I mentioned uh, I think two videos ago when I was talking about my TBR for December. I just started this yesterday and I'm loving it so far. The futuristic sci-fi novel and it's written in a very unique way. If you haven't seen this already all over booktube, it's written through a uh, collection of documents such as emails, schematics, military files, IMs, medical reports, interviews, things like that. So it is told in a very unique way and I absolutely just love the cover design. I think it's so unique and its sequel, Gemina, just came out so hopefully I'll get through this and then I can uh, dive right into Gemina afterward. The next several books uh, were sent to me kindly by Penguin Random House. Very excited to have these. Uh, first one is called Paper and Fire by Rachel Kane. I have the first book in this series, but I haven't read it yet. It's on it's been on my TBR for a while, but now I have book two so that I can go right through one and two, which I love doing. Um, I'm always kind of hesitant to start a series if I only have the first book. Like I want to at least have a second one to get into right after in case I really love it. This is what the first cover looks like. And this takes place in future world where um, a great library controls all knowledge and the private ownership of printed books is a radical dangerous practice. So super excited to get to those too. I love books about books, don't you? Speaking about books about books, there's another series that caught my eye a little while ago and I put on my to read list the first one in the series which was called The Invisible Library. I still don't have the first one yet but now I'm going to have to go out and get it because they sent me the second book, which is called The Masked City, an invisible library novel. These are by Genevieve um, Cogman, by the way. And also a advanced reader copy, an arc, of the third book in this series called The Burning Page. So I have two and three and I have to get book one so that I can dive into this series. This cover, by the way, I looked at the actual cover on um, Goodreads and it's really pretty. It's much different than the ARC cover, in case you were wondering. And I guess it takes place in like an alternate um, version of Victorian London. And the main character is some sort of like librarian spy or something. It <laughs> sounds really fun to me. Next, uh, Penguin Random House sent me Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I've been wanting to read these for a long time. They sent me the set of the Blackthorn and Grimm novels. So the first one is Dreamer's Pool. These are by Julia Marillier, I think that's how you say that. I fell in love with this cover a while ago and so immediately put it on my to read list. I'll just read the first little paragraph on the inside of the cover for you because that'll be a little bit easier to explain since I really don't know too much about these yet. Um, it says, in exchange for help escaping her long and wrongful imprisonment, embittered magical healer Blackthorn has vowed to set aside her bid for vengeance against the man who destroyed all that she once held dear. 
Followed by a former prison mate, a silent hulk of a man named Grimm, she travels north to Delridia, where, she li where she'll live on the fringe of a mysterious forest. Duty bound for seven years to assist anyone who asks for her help. So that is just a tiny little brief about what it's about. And I will show you the second one. I believe this is the second one. Um, Tower of Thorns, also another gorgeous cover. And the third one, Den of Wolves. Juliette Merlier was also the author of the Seven Waters series, which I have not read. So these are just gorgeous and they weave magic and mythology and folklore and all of my favorite things. I can't wait to get to these. So that is all for that video, just a quick book haul today. And again, thank you to Penguin for sending me a couple of books, it's amazing. And I will actually have another book haul coming to you very soon because I bought a bunch of books from Book Outlet when they were having their 30% off sale. So I figured I would do that in a separate video for you. So I'll have book haul number two coming up very soon. Subscribe if you want to be alerted of whenever I publish a video. Comment down below if you have read any of these books, no spoilers please, and if you want to read any of those. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!